This year, give the woodworker and your family that $2,000 table saw. I think that they'll think that you think they'll like. Be sure to use promo code YouTubeinfluencer at checkout. <laughs> okay, if you're not a woodworker, I'll let you in on a secret. Woodworkers like to pick out their own tools. It's kind of part of the fun of woodworking and we learn a lot about tools by researching tools. So if you want to surprise your special someone with a, a brand new router or some other power tool, use caution. It might not be exactly what they need or want in their shop and then they'll, they'll have to put on that awkward Oh, great, this is exactly what I wanted, act. Instead, I thought it would be fun to give you a few recommendations for gifts that might actually surprise a woodworker. All of these items will fit into a stocking and I guarantee will be used and appreciated by any woodworker. I'll put affiliate links to all these things down in the description. Or you can just Google them, I don't care, it doesn't matter. But remember, every link you click goes to support Woodworking for Mere Mortals and helps keep the lights on and a humble loaf of bread on my table. Nah, I just wanna sell enough tape measures to make a billion dollars and quit this dog and pony show, move to the Caribbean and flex my cyber truck on Instagram. And that's where I'm gonna start, is with this specific tape measure. I've had this old one for years and it's finally wearing out. So just for this video, I bought a brand new version of it. It's exactly the same. I've used a lot of tape measures over the years, but in my opinion, nothing is more suited to woodworking than this lefty righty measuring tape from FastCap. It's sturdy, durable, and you can hold the tape in place with this front button, or you can lock it in place with this slider. It has a clip to hook it on your belt. Sometimes I do that when I want to feel extra manly. And it has this erasable area that you can use for writing down measurements or something I guess. I've never used that but I do use the pencil sharpener in the bottom. But the best feature of this tape measure is that it's reversible. You can read it from either side. I'm really surprised this isn't standard on all tape measures. It's just that useful. Plus, it's easy to read down to 1 16th of an inch increments with eighth inch increments labeled. It comes in 16 and 20 foot lengths, but I recommend the 16 foot length, which is plenty long enough for basically any woodworking projects. And of course, there's a metric version available. If you've watched my show for basically any length of time, you've seen me using this glue bottle thing. It's called a glue bot, but there's no E on glue and it's not really a robot, but it does beat using an old mustard bottle by miles or kilometers. The reason why this is so effective is that it can be used upright. The shape of the bottle creates a, a vacuum or pressure or something like that. I don't know. It's something I've nearly never thought I needed until I got one. And now I really can't imagine gluing stuff together without it. It's just surprising how effective this is and how handy it is for woodworking. It comes with a couple of extra tips, but I just throw them away and use this flat one all the time. And it also comes with a, a red cap that I, that I also never use. One of these bottles will last me for a couple of years and eventually the little gasket inside the lid fails and then the tip gets mangled from picking dry glue out of it with a nail. I, I probably should be using that little red cap, but I don't. And yeah, you can buy all those replacement parts separately, but I mean, why bother? A brand new bottle with all of that stuff is eight bucks. Maybe you know someone who is just starting out in woodworking and needs a little guidance. And if you really wanna give them the gift that'll keep on giving, how about a gift certificate for my online woodworking course, The Weekend Woodworker? Okay, okay, I know it's the most expensive gift on this list. This is 147 bucks, but but really, think about it. That's just 33 cups of coffee at Starbucks. You probably drink that in, in a couple of days. I'm looking at you, Michael. And remember, you can't make a coffee table out of coffee. Anyway, for a limited time, we're offering these custom gift certificates to the Weekend Woodworker. You'll get a special PDF that you can print out and just stuff into that stocking. Or you can just email it to that lucky recipient. The choice is yours. Either way, as soon as they redeem it, they'll get lifetime access to the Weekend Woodworker. The best step-by-step -step way to learn woodworking, bar none, anywhere else on the planet. So click up here or down in the description for a special link and give the gift of creativity and self-improvement. Oh, and since we have to manually process all of these certificates, they're only gonna be available for a week through Friday the 13th. Any month with Friday the 13th is a great month, right?
I've never had a really good enough table saw or miter saw where I could rely on the bevel scale that's built into it. And as soon as I got my first digital angle finder, the quality of my woodworking went way up. There are a lot of different types of digital bevel gauges. Some are more expensive than others, but I see no real reason to spend a lot of money on one of these things. You just, you just need it to do one thing, to tell you how many degrees your blade is tilted. I tried to find this exact one that I've been using for a few years, but it doesn't seem to be available anymore. So I got this one instead from TikTok. TikTok tools, which is basically identical. It's $24 and comes with a little carrying case that I'll probably just throw away. The bases of these are all magnetic, so I just store it on the side of my table saw where it's easy to find. And to use it, you just turn it on, zero it out on your table, stick it to your blade, and tilt it to whatever bevel you need. The readout is bright, and it shows both US and metric degrees. Okay, this one's gonna require you to know a little bit about your woodworker and find out if they use spray cans. I love using spray paint for projects and for projects where I want a clear natural finish, spray lacquer has been my go-to finish for years. You probably already know that. If you don't know, just snoop around their shop and see if you see some of these. Yeah, spray cans are simple enough to use, but it's amazing how much easier they are to use with one of these triggers in place. Not only that, it gives you so much greater control that you'll get much better results with your finishes and paint jobs. And these are super cheap. This one from Rust-Oleum is like $4. And you should be able to find it at a local home center or hardware store too if you aren't opposed to you know, leaving the house. And hey, for that price, you might as well get a couple. You can, you could even splurge and get one that has a, a comfort grip handle for an extra buck and a half. I've never tried that version. I don't even know if I'm ready for that level of comfort. This is always my go-to recommendation for a woodworking gift. I guarantee a set of driver bits will always be appreciated. Driver tips don't last forever and they need to be replaced. And there's a number of sets that fit perfectly into a stocking and are perfect for you if you're on a budget. Lots of tool manufacturers make these and they all come in these colorful little boxes that'll just look adorable on any workbench. I have this set of drivers and a set of drill bits from Ryobi, but I found an even better deal from DeWalt. This is a 45 piece set for only 15 bucks. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong giving driver bits. And hey, if you're feeling a little frisky, throw in a drill bit kit. Happy holidays, everybody.